The Nigerian Academy of Engineering, NAE, was a beckoned on the federal government to consider the use of private sector funding in reviving the nation's maribond refineries. The group said that the impact of non-operation of the refineries are felt in the destruction of competence in the sector and increase in cost of importing fuel to the government as about 95% of the domestic consumption are imported. The group managing director of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC, Mike Conte Baru, made the call while speaking during the Academy 2019 annual lecture in Lagos. Baru was one of the recipients of the Fellowship Award from the Academy, spoke on the fueling of the Nigerian economy, the state of domestic refining and distribution facilities, and said the presidency has approved the move by NMPC to raise funds at the capital market for the total turn around maintenance of the nation's refineries. The president of the Academy itself, Professor Folala Sisi, said the choice of the theme in the, is in the furtherance of a vowed commitment to positively impact the economy and the social life of Nigerians, stressing the challenges of effectiveness of refining impact directly on all lives at all levels. You see, that we should, with the permission of Mr. President, look at going to the capital market to raise the funds to repair these refineries, to rehabilitate them. But it's just not repairs, it's rehabilitation. Some units are completely out and we needed to put back a modern refinery. We're not just repair these ones. We are going to modernize the refineries and put them in a better position, 21st century refineries. That's the drive I gave the contractors. And with the gracious approval of Mr. President, we need to do a detailed study, bankable study, before we go to the capital market. The Academy has developed templates for development of outcome-based engineering curriculum for the whole of engineering family. The engineer, the technologist, the technician and the statesman. On the basis of the Washington, Dublin and Sydney academics, adoption of these will enable Nigerian engineering graduates meet global standards and our engineers will be able to work globally. The academy recently featured a forum on two topics, suitability, solid mineral development and value addition chain. Who, who values Nigeria?